my summer morning routine 2020 and a productive morning routine coming up next. Hi my friends, it's Elizabeth with Abundant Apartment Lifestyles and on today's video we're going to do my summer routine 2020 and a productive morning routine of what do I do in the morning to get a lot done and have a power packed morning. If you find this video helpful, smash that like button, click subscribe and check out our playlist down below for other routine type videos. Let's dive into what I do in a morning routine to get things done. The first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is brew some coffee before I do anything else. Usually I set a timer, but sometimes I forget in the summertime. And for my routine, I like to make sure that my coffee is set, my coffee is ready to go and get that brewed before I go on to the next steps in the morning routine. The second thing I like to do in my productive morning routine, more so in the summer than other times, is to go for a walk. I love to go walk our dog applesauce and get a power walk in so I feel good about the day, I have extra energy, extra mental clarity, and more importantly, it's taken off of my to-do list of things to do is walking. So I usually will get in a 30 or 45 minute walk before it gets too hot in the summertime. And it also takes away the excuse of, oh, I'm too tired. Oh, it's too hot. It takes out the excuses in my morning routine by getting it in early. When I come back, I'll take a shower and have intentional time with my cup of coffee to think, to think about the upcoming day, to be quiet, to meditate, and just be. And a special thank you to Miss Lizzie's Thyroid Support for sponsoring this video. I've used Miss Lizzie's Thyroid Support for I have hypothyroidism. It has dramatically helped me, of course, with any supplement. Always check with your doctor first. I am certainly, this is not medical advice, and the dosage I'm using, check with your doctor before doing anything. I do use two drops of the Miss Lizzie's uh, thiodine. It's iodine, it's Lugol's iodine. Extremely high grade, it's USP grade of the iodine. I have found that two drops has been dramatic for my thyroid health, and so that's been very much part of my morning routine. They do also have them in um, 60 caplet formats, or you can do with the drops. I like the drops because I can mix around in my coffee. And I bored in that video way too much heavy cream. It exploded. <laughs> But one thing I do recommend to mix all around to kind of make my own latte now that I'm not going to Starbucks, I used to go, that was part of my morning routine, not anymore with quarantine, is having one of these frothers. I will link it down below for you. These, they're less than $10 and it mixes your coffee. So if you use heavy cream, um, it makes it very frothy with it, which I love. And it mixes in my um, Miss Lizzie's thyroid support. I will link down below the drops of the supplements to get those. Of course, as with any supplement, check with your doctor before taking any of them. This has been dramatic for me personally, and I've had the conversation with my doctor to help me with hypothyroidism. There is a pop of energy that comes after consuming this. There's like this, it's, it's, it's awesome. I can tell that the, the, the iodine is kicking in. And the more I learned about iodine in relation to morning health and uh, morning routines and into health, the better it's been for my personal body. So I very much have enjoyed Miss Lizzie's thyroid support, personally use it with my own body, and very much have found a part of my morning routine. It's been very helpful with any sort of medications. Of course, you do want to check with your doctor so there's not contraindications with supplements and medication. And you can go to Miss Lizzie's down below to see if you have any hypothyroid symptoms, if they are applicable to you or not. Um, and if you want to get on their auto ship, that will be linked down below as well. So next in my morning routine and to have a super productive morning routine 2020 is reviewing my seven most important lists. I'll go through, I do my seven most important lists and I've talked about it in other videos the night before, before I leave my office. That way I kind of do a brain dump. I pick seven because five is too little, nine is too many. Having seven is a key number. I've talked in other videos about that and how that relates with the book Think and Grow Rich, which I will link down below as well. It's been very powerful for me to be more productive with my morning routine. Sometimes on my list, I'll have it personal related, but usually it relates to my career and relates to my multiple businesses um, to help me stay most efficient, help me stay most productive, and takes down any sort of anxiety of feeling overwhelmed. Um, I have done other videos and talked about doing the seven most important lists on an index card. That way, sometimes a page can get to be too much and I hand write them in particular because studies have shown that it changes the brain waves um, with the prefrontal cortex with making problem solving decisions. It's more helpful handwriting it versus using a cell phone uh, to figure out what your, your list is going to be to be proactive about it. Next, I'm gonna listen or read 15 minutes of positive information that I'm actively and proactively choosing to put into my brain 
sometimes I will be reading it. Um, I'll read on my Kindle or usually I listen to an audio. I'll find an audio that I like. I have certain programs that I very much love listening to. If you're interested in those specific programs, put in the comments below. That's your question of the day is what are you listening to to help you have a productive morning routine? I very much would love to know as your question of the day. For me, I, when I'm putting on my makeup and doing my skincare, that's the time of when I put in, when I start listening intentionally by design to positive things to help educate me or uplift me or help me stay at a higher vibrational energy. Um, to me, I found it's very, very important for my morning routine. And while I'm doing this, while I'm listening to it, I will put on my skincare because skincare now has, I've just been starting to learn more. So you'll see my basic skincare stuff that I have for eye cream and for vitamin C and then for some sunscreen. Um, I'm still learning more about skincare products. So put down in the comments below if you have any suggestions for me. After I put on my skincare, then I will go put on my makeup. And at that point, I'm still listening to those positive motivation audios as well to infiltrate my brain to make it uh, more uplifted. Next I go and I take my pajamas off or my workout clothes. If I haven't already done it earlier, sometimes this switches in the morning routine because I am flexible uh, for having a productive morning and I will change into real clothes. I find <laughs> with quarantine morning routines that switching over into having real clothes on and not yoga bottoms, not um, pajama bottoms, switching into actual clothes for me is very beneficial. And it sounds weird, but when I'm working to be more productive, I wear shoes. Don't ask me why. Normally I don't wear shoes. I don't like shoes. I feel like when I have shoes on, I don't know, it adds some level of professionalism. Um, so that's been one of my hacks and one of my secrets is make sure I have real shoes on, professional shoes. I'll put on some loafers or some sort of business casual shoes to wear while I'm working to get into the work zone, get into the professional zone while I'm working, but having on professional attire, even if no one's seeing me on a Zoom conference call or a video conference call with clients, I still have my professional attire on for me. My sister has shared that with me and it's actually, I've been doing it the past couple of weeks for my morning routine. And in the summertime, this has been very, very helpful for me. The next part of my morning routine is getting in one liter of sparkling water. I sometimes do regular water, filtered water, um, but I really love my soda stream of getting fresh water in because I will do intermittent fasting, usually till noon or 1 p.m. I have found intermittent fasting has helped me with my energy energy and also has helped me secondly with mental clarity. It's made a big difference for me with my morning routine of not having breakfast right off the bat. I have found that having the coffee, having my Miss um, Lizzie's thyroid support before I eat something several hours before has been very beneficial. So I, at this point, will get a, um, one liter of water and try to sip on that over the next hour or two during my summer morning routine. Next, my little boy, my four-year-old will wake up and so I, he'll start, sometimes either he'll already be awake or will be wanting breakfast at that point. So I will prepare for him, his breakfast, usually some eggs or some sort of higher protein breakfast item. I do like to include fats for those because children need extra fats for their brains, um, healthy fats that is, to help them with brain functions and with their growing brain and body. So I usually will give him eggs with some sort of like avocado or guacamole with it. Sometimes I'll put on top of it the everything seasoning, the brunch life by Fresh Jacks with the eggs, but giving him a nutritious breakfast sometimes with berries like blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, some sort of fruit to accompany that. Um, he usually asks for eggs though. <laughs> That's usually his go-to breakfast food. So I will prepare for him breakfast. And then at this point, I will walk back up to my office and start a powerful day. And my morning routine will kick in at that point and really it's it's full steam ahead until I break my lunch and we'll take my, my, my lunch break, literally to break my intermittent fasting and then also get into the next part of my day. I have found Jordan Page on YouTube has given me several suggestions about block scheduling and I have found that's very beneficial for me, breaking my day into morning blocks like mid afternoon between like 11 and a one ish and then an afternoon block like two to four and then an evening and then a later evening blocks. That has been very helpful for me to stay more productive, but it also gives me some flexibility for my morning routine. If I have this two hour window of if I need to move things around in that routine, it's been much more beneficial than having these rigid schedules that I used to run by pre-quarantine morning routine, but now with my summer routine, a morning routine, it's been much, it flows much easily and it, quite frankly, it has made less stress. 
So using block scheduling has been helpful for this, uh, this general summer morning routine 2020, but I have found that being adaptable has made things so much easier for my mental sanity and also for my productivity um, that I'm increasing my productivity. So if you found this video helpful, smash that like button, make sure you click subscribe, check out our other videos on morning routine and other types of routines during your day down in the description link below. And don't forget to answer the question, what is your favorite morning routine item, what would you suggest to help to be more productive for your morning routine day? It's been awesome being with you. Let's make it a powerful day. Bye friends.